Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving rational equations. Solve each equation, and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this problem, a squared minus 4a minus 12 over a squared minus 10a plus 25 is equal to 6 over a minus 5 plus a minus 3 over a minus 5. This one's a little tricky. There's a few ways to kind of go about it, up to you and how you want to see it. Part of me kind of looks ahead and sees that we have, well, a minus 5 here, and maybe if I somehow can get this right there, okay? Well, I know a minus 5 times a minus 5 will equal that a squared minus 10a plus 25, okay? And I know that because, well, kind of look ahead. If I multiply it by itself, kind of looking at it, a times a is a squared, a times minus 5 is minus 5, minus 5 times a is minus 5a, right? Minus 10a, negative 5, negative 5 is 25. And we can do that. But that means that this also will kind of factor out as well. So many ways to solve it. I'm just going to make it all the same denominator. Eventually it will cancel. But if I do this, multiply by a minus 5 over a minus 5 times a minus 5 over a minus 5. What we have is, keep this thing the same, on the left, a squared minus 4a minus 12 over a squared minus 10a plus 25. Here, I know that denominator is going to be the same when I multiply that out. So this whole thing is going to have that same denominator, a squared minus 10a plus 25. When you kind of foil that, right, make sure you do something like this. It's a little easier to see. Okay? The numerators, right, 6 times a is 6a, and 6 times minus 5 is minus 30. Same thing here, we can multiply that out, a times a is a squared, a times minus 5 is minus 5a, minus 3 times a is minus 3a, the other is minus 8a, and then negative 3 times the negative 5 is a positive 15. Okay? Well, watch this. I'm going to multiply both sides by this denominator right here, okay? And in doing so, if I can fit it on the other side, I don't think it's going to fit, but if it goes off the screen, you know that's what I'm doing. I'll do both sides by this denominator. It's going to cancel because they're the same. And now I'm left with just a squared minus 4a minus 12 is equal to, let's combine the like terms, only one a squared here, okay? 6a and negative 8a is a minus 2a, and minus 30 plus 15 is a minus 15, okay? Now let's get all of our like terms together. Well, look, the a squared is going to cancel right there. They cancel on both sides. Let's bring the uh, 2a over. So add a 2a to both sides. We have a negative 2a over here. Let's add a 12. Let's bring the 12 to the right, actually. And we have a negative 3 here, right? Negative 15 plus 12 is a negative 3. Divide both sides by negative 2. And a equals a positive 3 halves. So they tell us that we need to check our work. Okay. So to check that, we take our original our answer and plug it to the original equation. So let's do that. 3 halves squared, and this is why I like having a calculator, minus 4 times 3 halves minus 12 over 3 halves squared minus 10 times 3 halves plus 25 equals, make sure to go to the original so don't ignore the a minus 5 over a minus 5, 6 over 3 halves minus 5 plus 3 halves minus 3 over 3 halves minus 5. Kind of double checking here, it's all the same. I 
think so. Well, if we don't get the right answer, we can always come back and check that. Looks good to me. All right, so let's go so far we can up here. Three halves squared minus four times three halves minus 12. Okay. Divided by, doing it all at once, 3 halves squared minus 10 times 3 halves plus 25. And this becomes a good old fraction of negative 9 sevenths. 6 divided by 3 halves minus 5. And this is a fraction is negative 12 sevenths. This one here, 3 halves minus 3 divided by 3 halves minus 5. And that as a fraction is 3 sevenths. Well, negative 12 sevenths plus 3 sevenths is negative 9 sevenths. So the left and right hand side are equal, meaning that A equals a positive 3 halves is a real solution. And our final answer. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com.